One fine morning, Br'er Fox decided to plant him a patch of goober peas. He set to with a wool and before you know it, he had raked and hoed out a beautiful patch of ground and he put in a fine planting of peas. It didn't take too long before those goober vines grew tall and long and the peas ripened up good and smart. Now Br'er Rabbit, he'd watched Br'er Fox planting the goobers and he told his children and Ms. Rabbit where they could find the patch. Soon as those peas were ripe, the little rabbits and Br'er Rabbit would sneak on in and grab up them goobers by the handfuls. It got so bad that when Br'er Fox came to the goober patch, he could hardly find a pea to call his own. Well, Br'er Fox, he was plenty mad that he'd worked so hard on those peas only to have them eaten by someone else. He suspected that Br'er Rabbit was to blame for this but the rascally rabbit had covered his tracks so well that Br'er Fox couldn't catch him. So Br'er Fox came up with a plan. He found a smooth spot in his fence where a cunning rabbit could sneak in, and he set a trap for Br'er Rabbit at that spot. He tied a rope to a nearby hickory sapling and bent it nearly double. Then he took the other end of the rope and made a loop knot that he fastened with a trigger right around the hole in the fence. If anybody came through the crack to steal his peas, the knot would tighten around their body, the sapling would spring upright, and they would be left hanging from the tree for everyone to see. The next morning, Br'er Rabbit came a slipping through the hole in the fence. At once, the trigger sprung, the knot tightened on his forelegs, and the hickory tree snapped upright, quick as you please. Br'er Rabbit found himself swung aloft betwixt the heaven and the earth, swinging from the hickory sapling. He couldn't go up and he couldn't go down. He just went back and forth. Br'er Rabbit was in a fix, no mistake. He was trying to come up with some glib explanation for Br'er Fox when he heard someone a rumbling and a bumbling down the road. It was Br'er Bear, looking for a bee tree so he could get him some honey. As soon as Br'er Rabbit saw Br'er Bear, he came up with a plan to get himself free. Howdy! Br'er Bear, he called cheerfully. Br'er Bear squinted around here and there, wondering where the voice had come from. Then he looked up and saw Br'er Rabbit swinging from the sapling. Howdy Br'er Rabbit, he rumbled. How are you this morning? Middling, Br'er Bear, Rabbit replied. Just middling. Br'er Bear was wondering why Br'er Rabbit was up in the tree, so he asked him about it. Br'er Rabbit grinned and said that he was earning a dollar a minute from Br'er Fox. A dollar a minute! Br'er Bear exclaimed. What for? I'm keeping the crows away from his goober patch, Br'er Rabbit explained and went on to say that Br'er Fox was paying a dollar a minute to whomever would act as a scarecrow for him. Well, Br'er Bear liked the sound of that. He had a big family to feed, and he could use the money. When Br'er Rabbit asked him if he would like to have the job, Br'er Bear agreed. Br'er Rabbit showed him how to bend the sapling down and remove the knot from his forepaws. When Br'er Rabbit was free, Br'er Bear climbed into the knot and soon he was hanging aloft betwixt heaven and earth, swing to and from the sapling and growling at the birds to keep them away from the goober patch. Br'er Rabbit laughed and laughed at the sight of Br'er Bear up in the sapling. 
he scampered down the road to Briar Fox's place and told him that his trap was sprung and the goober thief was hanging from the hickory tree. Briar Fox grabbed his walking stick and ran down the road after Briar Rabbit. When he saw Briar Bear hanging there, Briar Fox called him a goober thief. Briar Fox ranted and raved and threatened to hit Briar Bear with his walking stick. He yelled so loud that Briar Bear didn't have time to explain nothing. Briar Rabbit knew that Briar Bear would be plenty mad at him when he found out he had been tricked, and so he ran down the road and hid in the mud beside the pond, so that only his eyeballs stuck out, making him look like a big old bullfrog. By and by, a very grumpy Briar Bear came lumbering down the road. Howdy, Briar Bullfrog! Briar Bear said when he saw Briar Rabbit's eyes sticking out of the mud. You seen Briar Rabbit anywhere? Briar Rabbit just ran on down the road, he told the grumpy Briar Bear in a deep croaking voice that sounded just like the voice of a frog. Briar Bear thanked him and trotted down the road, growling fiercely. When Briar Bear was out of sight, Briar Rabbit jumped out of the mud. He washed himself off in the pond and then scampered home, chuckling to himself at how he'd escaped from Briar Fox and Briar Bear, and already thinking up a new way to get into Briar Fox's goober patch to get him some peas to eat. <laughs>